everyone good morning good afternoon good evening welcome to for i software solutions private limited we drive innovation so in today's sessions we are going to cover sap automation by using power automate desktop so whenever we are talking about the sap automation most of the people are you know confused with the scripting how to enable the scripting then how to interact sap by using certain accessibility and all so today we are you know going through very simple approach without using user interface actions we can directly log in into the sap so to log in into the sap we ne we need some important arguments to be set in po pad so two important factors you supposed to take care of first one is application path so this is the path where your sap is installed that you should note down somewhere and these second things are the settings that is already available for your sap environment if you are using test environment then you have test environment related details like client language username and password so already i have created one of the workflow that includes all the declaration of this variable so for launching or logging into sap we need sap logon client language system and username password so if you have all these details and this application path then you can directly launch sap without interacting with the sap user interface so do you want to see let's move towards pad screen sap screen and uh, power automate desktop screen so in power automate desktop we have to take a run application action so i'm just taking dragging and dropping this action here in application path we should enter the path which is already we have shared here so just copy and paste the path in this application path make sure your path is appropriate and in command line argument we have to pass the credential related the details so the details are like is uh, description client language already i have made one separate workflow for security purpose i'm not going to show that uh, flow but just make sure these are the variables you have to set like uh, sap client language uh, logon system username and password all these details you should set a variable in another flow and uh, already i have given there so i'll just copy this and uh, enter in command line argument so in command line arguments i'm just passing the system then language client username and password all the all these details i'm passing just saving this workflow then again since we have passed some variables we should run sub flow to get the variables value so due to security purpose i'm just use sap variables as a separate flow and all the variables value are stored in this flow now let me run this bot as i am completing run this bot the sap would be automatically launched in there yeah you could see sap is all already launched here so basically what we are doing here without using click or type into actions or populate window actions we are entering into the sap so that's it about like how we can log in into sap in power automate desktop with so guys most of times whenever we are automating sap we might face different challenges like uh, you're not uh, working like you're not able to work on the ui elements your elements not properly indicating on the space peak ui and uh, it is indicating on whole screen so, so the reasons might be like the scripting issue there might be a uh, disabled scripting or there might be uh, uh, you know rz11 setting is not properly done so whenever you are facing these types of challenges 
today uh, we we have you know come up with one of the important thing that is scripting how we can enable the scripting and uh, how we could avoid these types of challenges so there are two important settings that you should do in your sap screen first one is the scripting you should enable how we can we are going to see that and second one is uh, rz11 related uh, scripting settings so let's move towards the sap screen i'm just going into sap screen so this is my sap screen here you have to go into the uh, screen that is option option you have to go into the menu bar and option menu here you have accessibility and scripting in scripting you have to just click there and just check whether your user settings are you know appropriate that is enable scripting is checked mark it should be checking so first setting that you should keep in mind that is enable scripting should be checked and if you are good with this uh, setting then you have to check another setting and for doing that another setting you are just go into the menu and uh, into the t code space just enter the t code as rz11 as you are typing the user t code as rz11 and enter you could get the screen and this screen is very important uh, for the for the screen you have to suppose to enter the value like sap gui slash user scripting this value you should copy and now enter the t code rz11 and paste sapgi underscore u slash user scripting and display so here you could see lots of options available here and the major thing that you have to change that is whether your sap gui scripting is enabled or not that is true or false so current value you should check that is a true if it is you know false then you should make that as a true so how we can do that just click on that setting and change value as you are clicking on change value you might get new option so this is current value as a true if your value is false then you should make this value as a true you can make as per your requirement and just click on the save so these two settings are very important in terms of atomet sap most of the people are just worrying about uh, like uh, just they are just thinking about how why the ui elements are not exactly identified and the major reasons or causes might be the sap scripting is not enabled in their system so you should uh, always remember there should be sap scripting should be always uh, properly enabled and the rz11 t code you should enter and check the uh, whether values are true if it is that if it is true then i think um, you, are, you are good with starting the development so that's it about uh, how we can enable the scripting in sap thank you so much if you really like this video please like and subscribe this channel thank you